Good evening viewer. Welcome to our Glory Globe TV. Here is the breaking news. Yes, the Supreme Court on Friday issued notice to the Gujarat government on a plea by Congress leader Rahul Gandhi challenging the Gujarat High Court order refusing to stay his conviction in a criminal defamation case. A bench of Justice B. R. Gavai and P. K. Mishra issued notice and fixed August 4 as the next hearing date. Though senior advocate A. M. Sangbi appearing for Rahul Gandhi sought an interim suspension of conviction, the court declined to go into it. At the very outset, Justice Gabai told the parties that his father and father had been associated with the Congress for a long time and asked them to take a call on whether he should hear the matter or not. There is some difficulty on my part. My father was associated, though he was not a Congress member, but he was associated with Congress and very closely. He was associated with Congress for more than 40 years. He had been a member of Parliament, member of legislature with the support of the Congress and my brother is still in politics and associated with Congress. So, in this background, you have to take a call whether I should take up the matter or not, Justice Gavai said. Justice Gavai then added that in the case of Madras High Court Judge Victoria Gauri, whose political affiliations were questioned, that time itself I had said I have a political background and I have been judge for more than 20 years, but it has never affected my judgment. So, you take a call whether I should take up this matter or not. Both of us are at a IDM. I have no difficulty. Jet Malani responded. Singhbi said Rahul Gandhi has suffered 111 days. He has lost one parliament session. He is losing the next elections to the one not constituency can technically be notified at a time, he added. Justice Gabai said the court is willing to take, a, to take it off at the shortest possible time. Sangbi said that the complainant would be interested in offence. He cannot be interested about the disqualification in the technical sense. Justice Gabai said that the limited question here is whether the conviction deserves to be suspended or not. Singh then urged the court to consider interim suspension or give him the shortest possible date. If your lordships can consider on interim suspension or give shortest possible date, he submitted. The bench, however, declined to go into it at this stage. In March, a magisterial court in Surat had convicted and sentenced Gandhi to two years in prison, finding him guilty of criminal defamation following a complaint filed by the BJP Surat West MLA Purnesh Modi, who objected to the Congress leader's remarks in Karnataka Scholar in April 2019 in the run-up to the Lok Sabha elections about thieves with the Modi surname. Following his conviction, Gandhi was disqualified from Lok Sabha where he represented the one constituency in Kerala on June on July 7, the Gujarat High Court declined to stay Gandhi's conviction, making several observations, including that the offence committed by the accused falls in the category of moral turpitude and that the need of the hour is to have purity and purity in politics. Stating that Gandhi was seeking a stay on his conviction on absolutely non-existence ground, the High Court upheld the April order of the Surat Sessions Court that declined to stay his conviction. Be on the support, Glory Globe TV, Delhi, India.